In this video, we will be talking about the Bishop's score. Before knowing about the Bishop's score, we need to know a little about the induction of labor. Labor in simple terms means the contraction of uterine muscles at the end of pregnancy to expel the fetus and placenta out of the uterus. The induction of labor is the process of starting uterine contractions artificially to bring about childbirth. Now talking about the Bishop's score, it is a system used to assist in predicting whether the induction of labor will be required. Bishop's score is calculated by assessing five parameters including dilatation of the cervix, position of the cervix, effacement of the cervix, station of the fetal head and consistency of the cervix. Now we will look at these parameters one by one. The first is the dilatation of the cervix. The cervix which is the lowest portion of the uterus opens when a woman is giving birth. The opening of the cervix is called the cervical dilatation. Dilatation is measured in centimeters. Fully dilated cervix has a diameter of 10 centimeters. The second is the position of the cervix which refers to the position of the cervix relative to the fetal head and maternal pelvis. The third is the effacement or thinning of the cervix expressed as a percentage. The fourth parameter is the station of the fetal head which is the position of the fetal head relative to ischial spines of the maternal pelvis. Station is zero when the head is at the level of ischial spines. It is negative above and positive below the ischial spines. The fifth is the consistency of the cervix which refers to the feel of the cervix on examination. A firm cervix has a consistency similar to the tip of nose while a soft cervix has the consistency similar to the lips of oral cavity. Now we will see the scoring system. The five parameters are scored from 0 to 3. The first is the dilatation of cervix. When the cervix is closed, it is given a score of 0. When it is 1 to 2 cm dilated, it is given a score of 1. When it is 3 to 4 cm dilated, it is given a score of 2. And when it is more than 5 cm dilated, it is given a score of 3. The second is the effacement of cervix. When the cervix is 30% effaced, it is given a score of 0. When it is 40 to 50% effaced, it is given a score of 1. When it is 60 to 70% effaced, it is given a score of 2. And when it is equal to or more than 80% effaced, it is given a score of 3. The third is the consistency of cervix. The firm cervix is given a score of 0. A medium consistency cervix is given a score of 1. And a soft cervix is given a score of 2. The fourth is the position of cervix. A posterior cervix is given a score of 0, a mid cervix is given a score of 1, and an anterior cervix is given a score of 2. The fifth is the station of fetal head. A station of minus 3 is given a score of 0, the station of minus 2 is given the score of 1, station of minus 1 or 0 is given a score of 2, and station of plus 1 or plus 2 is given a score of 3. Interpretation of Bishop's score. A score of more than or equal to 9 indicates maximum success of induction of labor. Equal or greater than 6 indicates that an induction of labor can be done. And less than or equal to 5 indicates the cervical ripening should be done before induction of labor. The cervical ripening is the process of softening and opening the cervix before start of induction of labor. You can remember the components of Bishop's score with this mnemonic. Doctors evaluate cervix, position and station. Thank you for watching. That was all about the Bishop's score.